I believe there's no need for me to explain a lot about this brand because iFi is one of the brand that has established its place in the audiophile community I believe because it actually gradually giving more and more impressive deck amps for the audiophile community so yeah hello and welcome to aftersound review and here is my review for their actually their latest creation it's their cheapest desktop deck amps and this is the iFi Zen AirDex. It's the cheaper, uh, cheap, like a cheaper version from their famous uh, Zen Deck V2. And first of all, thank you for Best Audio in Indonesia for providing me with this review unit. And if you are happen to be in Indonesia and you want to buy some high quality iFi audio or another Chi-Fi audio or anything about audio that you may like, please check the Best Audio link in the description below so you could check because they definitely give you official warranty and also they give a personal really really great service for the customers so yeah let's just start from the review and i will break this review from the build user experience and then sound and comparison well talking about the build quality itself is actually pretty okay ish for me it's not really made of all metal it's really different from the iFi zen deck it's made of plastic but thankfully the plastic actually feels quite thick and i don't feel they could break easily so yeah and it's all yeah it's all plastic in outer part it's all grayish plastic and this part on the front and back it's a uh, like a mirror finished black plastic and the volume button is actually really really good in my hands it feels really good this this, it's very smooth when you turn them out turn them right and left and then you get this power match around here it will match whether it's actually simply a low to high gain switch when you turn it on it will be a high gain and when you turn it off it's the low gain for IMs and then the only output is uh, the only headphone out from here is only the 6.3 millimeters single-ended phone out from the front like this and the thing that I don't really like is about the original packaging the default packaging doesn't include the 6.3 to 3.5 millimeter single-ended converter so you have I suggest you to buy them first when you want to try them and then you got this X base button here which is actually simply a bass boost for the sound and then let's take a look at the back you got the RCA hole here and then the input for the USB 2.0 type B and then you get this power plug around this part but the thing that I actually like about this Zen Air Deck is you don't need to connect the two of them in the same time so actually if you are using your laptops the power from the USB itself is enough to turn them on and you don't need to uh, plug the the power too but if you're connecting them to your phone yeah you need to plug the power here too and actually I don't really feel a lot of difference between uh, when you're plugging them both into the laptop and when you are only using the USB cable only I don't really feel there's a lot of difference in sound quality so yeah I actually like that kind of feature because I don't need to bring two cables only need one cables when I'm using my laptop and then you see that this is the light when you turn them on and turn them off yeah just like that I have been using them daily and I should say that I really like them because they are really compact I should say that I'm not a guy who travel with a lot of uh, device for audio I just maybe if you want some jack amps I just maybe just bring this and it's enough for me and I really like because I only need to plug them using this uh, USB cable through my laptops and it's just enough for that it's giving enough power and exactly measured at 280 milliwatts for 32 ohms and I believe that it could drive a lot of IMs and a lot of mid-range to lower end headphones so when I have I have tried them using the Hi-Fi Main Edition XS, Hi-Fi Main Diva Pro, Hi-Fi Main Sundara 
and my Oppo PM2 and for me it definitely gives a lot of power and enough just to make them shine so yeah when it comes to power and daily use I have no problem at all and I really like them just putting them on the left side of my laptop and then using them using my left hand everything feels smooth and I don't feel any problem with that so when it comes to the sound of this IFI Zen Air Deck, I have tried them using my headphone collection that is with me right now like the Hi-Fi Man Edition XS, Hi-Fi Man Sundara, Hi-Fi Man 400 SE, and Hi-Fi Man Diva Pro, also the Oppo PM2, also my IEMs that are a lot of IEMs that I have right now. And for me, they are really okay in terms of power when you, went, uh, you want to drive some headphones that are like that like the planers like edition XS, those are quite hard to drive as a headphone uh, but in the headphone planer world it's still uh, quite easy to drive i hope you understand what i mean you cannot drive them through your phone definitely but you can drive them through this uh, deck and really easily so i have really no problem even though they are only providing a single-ended uh, headphone output in here for an output but for me if you don't really really need that kind of balance connection this deck amp actually gives you quite a lot of power especially we're talking around a hundred dollar price point only here i have no problem with that using all of my devices right now and then going to the sound signature of this zen air deck is definitely towards warmer side so if you are someone who like a neutral or neutral to bright deck amp or you want to search for some sources stop right here you don't need to follow this review anymore because it's definitely a warm source i can feel that definitely after comparing them with my other sources such as iba zodiac 160 kidix fk and ovds p1 it has a good body to the base and also the base is quite dig deep and it's i can definitely feel a kind of push in the base here also the mid-range is sweet and full-bodied also the treble even though it's not completely cut off i'm not gonna say it's totally rolled off but i can feel this definitely smoothing happen in the treble area so it doesn't go in some songs it doesn't go as energetic as piercing as i could hear some in the, my iba so the x160 in here it sounds smoothened a bit so yeah, I could definitely feel there's a overall warmth signature in this iFi Zen Air Deck. And honestly, because of that warmthness, I'm not gonna say it's overly warm. It's still quite balanced though. But it will benefit those kind of headphone or IEMs that are maybe neutral or neutral to bright. That you want to get a little bit of mid in their mid range. Also giving more sm uh, smoother texture to the treble, such as the High Man Edition XS. For me, when I tried them with this as i5 Zen Air Deck, even though using the single-ended only, for me it is a much better match if I compare them with my other sources here, like the iBuzz Studio XM160, like i5 XDSD or QDX 5K or the Ovidius B1. For me, it's the most uh, best matching when it comes to high format Sundara and also high format Edison Access because it's simply giving more body to the mid range, also giving more uh, base punch but keeping the treble in a safe area. So, yeah, I really like uh, using them using this i5 Zen Air Deck. And also, if I have to say about the technicality, it's also quite good. I wouldn't say it's the the best thing uh, from this iFi Zen Air Deck. But here's the thing, there are two things at first, I'm sorry, three things that I noticed the first when I tried this iFi Zen Air Deck. I don't need to try them for a long time. I immediately noticed three things. First of all is how clean they sound. It's really clean, single-ended. I don't know, I didn't notice any hiss or any electrical noise or anything like that. It's a really clean sounding deck amp. Also, how the sound stage is like wide, but only from right and left. But it's a really good width, and also it gives a really good imaging. 
at $100. I mean, I have tried a lot of DAPs, a lot of dongles. I should say that nothing could top this iPhone Air Deck. Unfortunately, I haven't compared a lot with the other desktop deck I'm at this price point. But I hope you understand what I mean. Amongst my uh, collection here they, that are cost more than a hundred dollars using single edit only it's even though it's the cheapest of the mall i know it's the biggest of the mall too but the sound is the cleanest and also the sound stage is it's really impressive so yeah uh i know when it comes to balance it couldn't beat this ibis zodiac 160 it gives a uh, still better performance in terms of detail and also imaging but for me still i mean the price difference is really a lot. Uh, the iBuster DX160 is around $400, while this Iba uh, Zen Air Deck is only around $100. So for me, at the end of the day, I should say that if you like a neutral or neutral bright sounding deck amp, this is definitely for, not for you. But if you want something smooth there that gives you a musical experience, you really need to try. You need to try them really because it costs only $100 but they definitely give you a really really good sound quality but maybe some couple of things that I would critique a bit about this uh, jack amp uh, is definitely this X space uh, feature here because the sound is already smooth already warm this X bass feature definitely gives a lot more power to the mid range and mid bass area so to the point for me it's bloated and it's too much i never use this x base uh x base feature with in whatever match i have tried them it just really gives much more bloated presentation so i think that's all for me this is actually one kind of jack m that i would recommend if someone want to try how does a desktop deck app performs compared to the other like the APs or dongles it will show that at the same price for me the desktop deck amp even though it yeah you need to sacrifice more space in your workroom but it definitely gives a much better performance compared to the other kind of sources for me at least that's what I feel amongst my uh, sources here it's really a really good contender it's just like a really good start of your journey to taste a desktop uh, setup sounds like I think that's all I could say about this I hope you enjoyed this review and if you have any question please write down in the comments below and see you next time bye bye